In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the very useful plugins of Figma that are uh, the, you can say the right hand of a designer, which is content plugins. So the plugins that are, uh, that can give you or make your content readily available. So these include icons, uh, your illustrations, uh, your content, for example, date, time, tax fields, or uh, images, avatars, all this. So we are going to see some of the best plugins that can help you generate content on the go and you don't need to drag and drop and write things yourself. So let's get started. So again, I'm going to use the same shortcut key, control or command forward slash to bring up the search menu. And I'm going to search uh, an already installed uh, plugin that is called Content Reel. It's a very useful plugin, but I'm going to share with you in depth how to use it and what uh, are the portions where you should not use it. So here we have uh, on the home screen, you can see here is job titles by Mohammed Hassan. These are from me, my custom job titles. So if I select this and select this one, it shows social media manager, graphic designer, product designer, and backend developer, graphic designer, frontend developer, month stack developer, user experience designer. Let's select this one. This is the ease uh, for this one. Name, full name, I'm going to select this. Okay, so this one looks great. People who like him and uh, let's keep it like this. And this is basically a paragraph. So I'm going to use or search para. Let's see if we have something in the text. So go to the text tab and we are going to see Lorem Ipsum. So we have short Lorem Ipsum by Microsoft and uh, this is good. This is good. You um, And let's reduce the uh, to three, three lines like this. And uh, here we have our design. So you can see um, the last part is actually our images. So I'm going to select all these by clicking shift, holding shift and clicking on these one by one. And I'm going to move to images. And we have avatar females, avatar male. Leslie, I think, is a female. So I'm going to select this female avatars. And uh, these are how these have been generated. This, I really don't like this one. It's falling from somewhere. Uh, this one is good. Okay, so let's go with this one. And uh, okay, so this is good. This is looking good. And let's use some mail over here so i'm going to go with this one this this looks a really nice guy <laughs> anyhow so this is how you can use images and uh, you can also create your own images you can see over here here we have logos too so if you want to go with logos just click on logo uh, i'm going to click three or four times let's click over here like that so this is how you can also use logos you you have different maps so if you want to use map this is a good one. And uh, here we have company logos, few more company logos that are, uh, this, this list is created by Michael, Michel or Michael, I'm not sure. I think it's Michel, Ishi, Jingli, Instagram images, this one is good. So you can use images from here. You can also create your own image library and um, if you want to create your own, you have to create an account. You can see over here on the right, I have a small icon over here. So first I went to this ad and I was not able to add anything over here. This screen was not loading. So you have to sign up. You have to go to this uh, community content reel and join, and then you can log in and then you can add over here text based or image based. So you have to select text based. Uh, for example, I am going to uh, add Muslim, uh, let's call Muslim names, Abdullah, uh, Abdullah Ahmad, and uh, then we have Iqbal, Kulam, uh, Mustafa, and uh, let's use one more, Muhammad, Ibrahim and uh, Isha server. Uh, let's use some girl names too. Uh, Tuba, Tuba Muzaffar, uh, Fatima, 
Ehsan, that's my daughter name. Uh, Khatija Elias. I think these are good enough. And I'm going to, you can select public or private and you can just select on create. This is going to be public. And this is how you can create different names. For example, I want to change some name to, for example, you can see now Fatma Essen, Isha server. Okay, so this one is good. I am going to use Isha server over here. So uh, this is a very nice one. So one thing you have to avoid is you do not need to use this icons. This, this, uh, it actually gave me a lot of errors. So whenever I try to use icons or load it, it you can see this goes blank. So never use icons from here. You can use other tools I'm going to share with you. Icon is actually um, material icons. There are few plugins. I really love this one material design icons. This is a really nice one. It shows you all the design um, material design icons with different sizes. For example, I want to use 14 by 14. I want to use classic field outline different styles. Let's use this one. So here we have it. Oops. So material design icons is uh, one plugin you should, you can use, you can also change the color over here and uh, you can also sign and sign up to support these plugins. Then we have few more plugins. Let's move to this plugins and I'm going to see there was a plugin that had everything. This one is really good for font awesome icons. Uh, if you want to use font awesome icons in a project, you can use this. So the plugin uh, I was looking for is Iconify. You have to click on Iconify and it is going to load this whole uh, interface. And you can see we have different material design icons, material design light, uh, Phospho, different icon libraries. I think most of them are free and uh, this is a really, really big icon library. For example, let's use this in typo, in typo. And you can see we have all different icons. You can uh, search for trash. Let's say this one is trash can. And uh, you can also use all different, uh, different free icons over here. So these are few settings you can set over here. And uh, I'm not sure how I have to close it. Okay, so here we have it and let's close this return to collection a, a bit difficult to use because whenever uh, uh, a plugin that has a lot of multiple options it uh, for me it is a bit uh, troublesome or difficult to use that um, box icons are really nice let's see what are these icons these have your their own style make sure whenever you use your icons you have to use or keep them into one style so if you are using this library box icons you have to use all the icons from the same library so this is another one few more plugins which i have found is uh, lucid icons uh, click on this and these are really nice really crisp really good rounded uh, I really enjoyed these. So let's see if we have delete. Yes. So this is the first one. Whenever I try to find delete uh, in different libraries, I'm unable to find this one is good one. So again, we uh, another one is uh, let's say icon and lucid icons, phosphor icons, remix icons is another one. I really love this. This uh, icon library is really good, a bit bold a bit bold kind of library with sharp corners but a nice one remix icons uh, another one was i think phosphor icons i think you have already seen them they are also present in iconify font awesome icons material design icons remix icons i really love the lucid icons actually let's see how these phosphor icons are these icons also look great uh, they have different fill options, bold, regular, uh, light. So this is a handy tool because we can see uh, or sometimes in a theme we have to use very light bordered icons like this. So this is a good one. So we can change the border. These are ample icons. They have they are good icons, very good built 
phosphor icons this is a great library so uh, these are all the different uh, icon iconography um, plugins let's try with some uh, plugins that are for images unsplash is the best uh, and very uh, you can say very popular and if I click over here let's go to this uh, portrait if I want to use some images for people so I'm going to click this young guy over here and uh, this is uh, looking good but still I think it's a bit strange looking because these are actually artistic kind of portraits so maybe I can try this Robert Godwin uh, or maybe Isha server could be something like her okay so you can use some images over here like this and you can go back to animals or whatever category you want this is a really nice tool I really love how these are divided into different categories you can easily click on these categories and go towards that so uh, this is unsplash for images then we also have avatars uh, let's see what we have in avatars I think we do not need all those but it actually created it uh, on the go so I do not you know need to let's uh, select this one and select click on this avatar okay so it actually randomly generates any any avatar just put the image over there so this is another one I think we do not need it content reel is the best uh, you can also use unsplash and uh, you can uh, use all these icons different icon libraries lucid icons and phosphor icons are the best uh, what I have seen uh, also material design icons is a great great plugin because material designs uh, is a st very standard icons they are very calculatedly uh, you can say they have built with a lot of good calculations and uh, uh, that is all I think uh, we have covered all this there is one more thing which is illustrations I haven't seen uh, much good plugins for illustrations but there is one from uh, also we have few map makers or uh, I uh, these plugins for example this map maker to create generate for example you have to generate some address over here let's uh, put my city over here and uh, I would like to have a satellite image oops satellite is doesn't look very good so I'm going to use this and just click on make map and it is going to give me the image over here so this is another one because uh, when you are a designer you have to make these maps a lot map maker is the one uh, the other one is mapsicle provide your access token this is um, this is a different uh, different one I, I think I should uh, try to use the position or satellite these are coordinates I have to use the coordinates over here I'm not sure what this set token is get token access uh, I think this map this uh, actually needs uh, token access from their website so let's use this and create map and it has created this map this is mapsicle and uh, one for illustration is humans for figma uh, i think that was from uh, pablo stande uh, these are very basic so i don't like these much uh, let's say illustrations there is no illustrations uh, humans and uh, there was I think one more um, <laughs> hero icons is another one humans for figma and uh, I think we can search if we want to I don't I don't remember there are much uh, plugins for um, uh, illustrations if you know any plugin that can create light or good illustrations uh, inside Figma uh, please let me know so these are all these uh, plugins that are good for content generation uh, you can see this is this whole screen we created the content using content reel 
uh, unsplash and uh, I think one more plugin so content reel is a must install one or two or three icon libraries uh, or install the iconify plugin that is a must and um, which one is a must uh, that is up to you iconify and I, I really think iconify and um, few more plugins if you want some special icons you can install them because I really love phosphor icons and other few icons where we have these light options light and dark options uh, avatars is not needed uh, map icon is map maker is good one which is uh, going to generate the Google map actually so these are all the plugins to generate content for your Figma designs whatever you are designing in Figma I hope you have enjoyed this video uh, and don't forget to make sure share it and subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, like this video thumbs up and leave some comments if you want to I will meet you soon in another video till then take care bye bye